Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the sixth grade concept of fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 23, which is a new item type called equation, off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got um, an owner of a food truck that seven out of eight customers ordered a drink with their lunch. We need to turn that into a decimal. All right, so this equation, it's called equation, but it looks kind of like a calculator here, right? So the only buttons we have are this dash and this decimal other than the digits. And uh, if you try to go past this problem without entering anything and hit next you will get an error message that says you have not answered this question but you can't besides that dash you can't really add subtract uh, multiply divide so even though it's called equation it looks more like a calculator to me that doesn't really calculate so we just have to type in our answer there's no a b c or d to choose from so let's increase our transparency a little bit using the graph draw feature and we've got seven out of eight. So they give it to us as this ratio, but we know by this point that we can turn our ratios into fractions, right? Because it says the fraction of customers who ordered a drink and it's seven out of eight that ordered a drink. So let's just make that a fraction. And I need to turn that into a decimal, even though um, on some of these, later on, you can enter in decimals. It's not one that is going to be active for this particular problem because they don't want you to actually enter in 7 out of 8. They don't want you to enter in that fraction. We need to turn this into a decimal. So how do we turn this into a decimal? Well, there's two different things that we can do. First, if we can get this denominator using equivalent fraction into either 10, 100, or 1,000, then we're good. Because think of the first three place, places after the decimal, right? We've got the tenths, we've got the hundredths, we got the thousandths, and these are all just the THSs. So if we can get our denominator to be 10 hundred or thousand, then we just simply turn it into a decimal. Now, eight doesn't go into 10 evenly, 8 doesn't go into 100 evenly. Now, this is a trick you may or may not know, but 8 actually does go into a 1,000 evenly. Now, you have to kind of memorize this because it's not one that most of us know. But 8 times 125, anytime you see an 8 multiply by 125, you're going to get 1,000. So one option here is going to be just make an equivalent fraction by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 125. And that's going to be 35, and that's going to be 14, that's going to be 17, 7, that's 8. So 875 thousandths, which translates into 875, 0 0.875, 875 thousandths. Now, if you didn't know that trick, let me show you the other way. When in doubt, any single fraction can always be turned into a decimal if you simply divide up. That means you kind of flip it over onto its sign. You divide the denominator into the numerator. So 8 goes into 7 zero times, which we knew. But what that's going to do is that's going to get us a decimal. We make sure we put the decimal up here. And we're just going to add zeros until we're done. So 8 goes into 70. 8 times, there's your 64. That gives us six left over. I'm not done. I'm not doing a remainder. I want to get nothing left over, so I'm just going to keep adding zeros. So eight goes into 67 times. 56. We know what's coming. One more. Eight is going to go into 45 times. So that gives us that zero. That's your 0 0.875. So how do we enter that in? Well, let's do zero. 0.875. Now, I tried to put that zero in there, but it's not letting me because it doesn't like it when you start with the zero. So you're just going to end up putting 875 after that decimal.